What's up guys, welcome to the vlog, welcome back to another awesome video, just a very quick video um, regarding what um, I am filming tomorrow, yes, um, I have an additional day of filming tomorrow, so I'm just going to show you guys what I am going to be filming tomorrow. Um, tomorrow will be consisting of four vlogs, two train spotting, and two travel series videos. Um, all will be premiered all will be released in the afternoon so the main highlight tomorrow is 5917 the Kaima picnic train and unfortunately that train will not depart from central sydney terminal but instead it will depart from tempe the main reason why is the train is um en route to enfield today um, you, you guys can see it under Run 9S92. Um, it is meant to uh, um, pass the last station, which is Concord West, at uh, just before 9 o'clock, 8.56pm. Um, I'll put a link to that trip to 5917 coming down from Brangston in, in the description below of this video um, although in any trip um, the run does act actually begins from Broad Meadow but further information from Transport Heritage New South Wales states that it's coming off from Brangston so um, yeah I'll also link um, that in the description below like as in the times and so that um, hopefully some of you can go and film it I don't know if you guys want to go for it because of the weather but that's your choice but that's not what the that's not the purpose of this vlog um, the purpose of this vlog is the next slide that I'm going to show which is the scheduled vlogs or the agenda um, for tomorrow to the 27th of November 2021 which is a Saturday Okay, first thing on the agenda, agenda, 59.17 at Tempe at 9.40, yes, that's when the train will depart, heading southbound to Kayama, under run 9S39. From after, right after that, I'll, go, I'll be getting the 9.55 train from Tempe platform number 4 to one stop to Walleye Creek. I'll be there between 9.57 and 10.32. You're probably wondering why not go an extra minute and go to 10.33. Well, because at 10.33, that's when point number three or agenda number three is going to depart. Oscar H. said ride. Yes. Um, you read that correctly when you're to Redfern via the city circle. That service will come off from Depto on the south coastline. It's a Depto to Redfern via City Circle service, and I deliberately chosen that because all the other Oscars that are running through the City Circle this weekend are Kayama to Kayama services. This means the trains will be coming from Kayama to the city, around the City Circle, and back down to Kayama. And because of that, there's going to be a lot of people on that train. But with this train, the Depto to Redfern via City Circle service. Obviously, it's going to Redfern, and um, as you, you would have seen in um, weekday services, um, City Circle to Redfern. So that would be Circular Keys and James Museum Central and then Redfern. There's not much people on it, and that's why I've deliberately chosen that service, which is, um, I think it departs at um, around 9 something. I don't know the exact time for that train, but it does depart at 9 something, or maybe even 8 something, and it comes, all right, departs Walleye Creek at um, 10.33 and will arrive at Redfern at 11.07. Right after that, I, I am going to get on another T4 Illawarra Line service to Walleye Creek, and I'm going to pick up a T8 Airport and South Line service and go to Leppington. The reason why the T8 trains that 
are going to Re uh, Lappington is because that train is actually meant to go down to MacArthur. But due to track work this weekend between Fairfield and MacArthur, um, obviously stations Macquarie Fields, Ingleburn, Minto, Lumia, Cameltown and MacArthur are closed as well as the line down to Goulburn and could impact country link services as well so these XPTs and explorers um, so that's why um, the TA trains are going to Leppington because you want you've got to keep one part of it open um, so this results in T2 Inner West and Leppington line trains and T5 Cumberland line trains to terminate at Fairfield although T5 trains that will run to Olympic Park rather than to Fairfield but um, during the night when uh, there are T5 Richmond services, yes, they will com commence from Fairfield. Um, so that's why if you guys are on any trip or any transport app and you have like a, um, Olympic Park and you see, oh, why is there T1 Schofield services? Well, there you go. There's your answer because um, that's, where they, that's where the T5 Schofield services will be running. Um, as far as I know, they're go there's going to be... Um, Tangaras on that run. Um, there's gonna be obviously M sets and maybe a few Waratahs here and there. But I won't be going that, that away. I'll, I'll be focusing on these four vlogs. Hopefully, my my storage holds holds up. I'll do. I will do need do a need a, a bit of cleaning up as I, I make my way towards the city tomorrow on the B line. If you guys would like me to film a trip on the B line, I can do that um, on the one weekday. Um, so just th throw a request in the comment section below, and um, yeah. DBA five. Well, I, I don't really want to go there, but um, that the channel is now open. It's fully operational, and there's three vlogs there already, and then there's already I think about. Uh, about 50 odd views, so thank you very much for that. And I can see that this channel in subscribers numbers is slowly climbing. And again, I would like to say thank you very much for that because every subscriber equals a step towards unlocking certain things in channel stats, which is in my about section right at the very bottom of the, um, the text. Um, it's like there's, I have like a countdown in subscribers, not in time, but in subscribers for um, this channel to unlock certain parts and we're really close to unlocking mobile live, live streaming, which is, um, which means that um, if there is t another freshwater class ferry to our ended service, not that I know of right at this point in time because Queenscliff only retired just recently. Um, but with Collaroy and Freshwater, um, there is no set date for it as yet, so we don't, I don't know when that will be, but, um, when that day, or when those days do come round, um, I mark my words, I will be going on board the ferry, obviously, for one last time. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to stream the last service out from Manly to Circular Quay, because... I've seen firsthand on um, Queenscliff that day um, the wharf at Manly Wharf was so packed. I w the people who were on the inbound to Manly service who wanted to go back out to Circular Quay, and I was one of them, nearly was not allowed to get on board, but because the um, the captain said, uh, some of these people who are getting off are actually coming back on for the final ride. And, obviously, and then the wharf staff were like, okay, we'll let them through because well, they get, they've, um, the captain has given authorization. So that was lucky. Otherwise, uh, uh, I would have to get get the 144 to Smith Junction, beeline to Wynyard, and then get on the light rail and go to Circular Quay, which would take a lot longer. Um, 
Yes, so um, so that's one thing that I can stream, which is um, the inbound servers from Circular Key to Manly. It will be a, like a thirty-minute stream, but depending on um, how long it takes for me to get onto the ferry, because um, with Queenscliff they they, like, they had like that little, they were like taking photos and family reunions and stuff while the Ferry was at the at, um, Wharf 3B at Circular Quay, and um, we actually ended up departing up to 20 minutes late. So, um, yeah, but still the trip was like half an hour, and um, unfortunately that, that day the weather wasn't really pretty. Rather, it was very choppy, and we, at one point as we were crossing the heads, the ferry Queenscape was literally nearly on its side, and I, and I, I was literally looking across the other to the other windows and I was like, holy, holy, we are really close to the water. You really don't want to be standing outside in that sort of condition. Um, so yes, that's one thing I can live stream. Um, should there be any more further live streams to come? Yes. Um, I'm also open to any ferry requests right now. Um, I haven't been on a ferry since Queenscliff, unfortunately. But I am open to um, ferry requests, um, so the lines I can do is F1, F2, F3, depending on how long your request is. Obviously, you can't do the whole thing, so you can Parramatta because it's an hour. Um, F4, which is circular key to Piedmont Bay. F5, neutral bay loop. F6, which is the Mossman Bay ferry. And F F seven, which is Eastern Suburbs, which is the Double Bay Darling Point one. F eight Cockatoo Island. And F nine Watson's Bay. So if anyone wants to request that, and I can do that on on a weekday, um, and I can tick that off. Um, while while I'm while, while I'm out and about. So. That's some things that I can film later on, but um, tomorrow we've, I'm only focusing on these four. Unless, if my storage can hold up, I might do a trip to Olympic Park or something. I don't know, that, but that's something I'm, I might do. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, oh wow, 12 minutes already. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, starting off with 59.17, if not uh, with the Beeline trip. If anyone requests it, that is. Um, but most likely that will be done on a weekday because I want to save as much storage for the HZ ride and the Walleye Creek to Leppington ride as well. So I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, with 59.17 at Tempe at around 9.30. I'll be there at 9.25 but I think if the train arrives at around 9.30 I'll commence the vlog around 9.30 to film its arrival and also I'll film it depart in one vlog. And um, also another copy of that will be uploaded to Artem's transport vlogs as well. So people who are on Artem's transport vlogs, you can also see it there as well as on this channel. Bye for now.